From Italy this evening, a truly historic image, two living popes together for the first time in hundreds of years. The newly appointed Pope Francis leaving the Vatican by helicopter to visit the man he replaced, Pope Benedict. The two men praying together, calling each other brothers. ABC's Nick Schifrin tonight on the historic meeting. In the 2,000 year history of the Catholic Church, this may be a first. One pope embracing a former pope. Pope Francis made the pilgrimage to Pope Emeritus's retreat outside of Rome, but there was no ring kissing. When Benedict directs the new pope to the place of honor, Francis refuses, instead asking the two to pray together. Okay. Today was designed to show a seamless transition. Francis gave thanks, a Madonna of humility as a gift. Benedict renewed his vow not to interfere with the new papacy. But the Vatican is clearly worried about the image of two popes. Even though the faithful were waiting outside, the two didn't appear in public. They probably wisely presumed this is not the image we want to give the world. We don't want to make it seem like we're running a tag team pontificate here. We don't know what they discuss, but there's a lot to talk about. Benedict has left a church reeling from a series of scandals. It would be natural to every now and then ask him for some kind of advice. However, I have a feeling that Francis is going to go his own way on things. Today was our first real chance to see Benedict since he resigned. He looked fragile, so much frailer than the man once known as God's Rottweiler. Soon, these two popes will both live inside the Vatican. Benedict moving into this converted convent. If today is an example, they will clearly show each other love and respect. As Francis put it, the two are brothers. Nick Schifrin, ABC News, London.